Hello, ladies. How are you? I didn't do a motivation and mantra today because I wanted to come on, do a little story time. It's evening, so we're getting real personal. But I wanted to come on and share a personal story because I know with the holidays coming, tension and COVID and everything, emotions are high and it's uncomfortable and different. So I wanted to share with you that a few years ago, I actually voluntarily spent Christmas alone. And I did this because my mom died when I was young. So like over 15 years ago. And after my mom passed away, really, Christmas wasn't the same. It still isn't. And so there also, after my mom passed away, was tension in the family and family drama. And I just didn't want to put up with it. <laughs> There's like family drama and everything. And so I honestly just was said, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. I don't, I need to focus on me and my inner peace. And all of this expectation and holiday stuff isn't worth me sacrificing my inner peace. So I voluntarily did Christmas on my own. And I'm sharing this with you because I know during COVID, a lot of us are spending Christmas alone and it can be really sad and depressing and even our our rituals and things are changing because of COVID. And so I wanna share with you how I basically got through that day and what that day was like for me in hopes that it may also help you. So number one, I did it because I also wanted to challenge myself and hear me out. I wanted to challenge my perspective of what Christmas and the holidays is. I celebrate Christmas, so whatever you celebrate, that's totally cool. But I wanted to really challenge, okay, what does this mean? And if I spend Christmas alone, how will that feel? And really, all of those feelings are just in my head because it's in my mind and in my observation that it is Christmas. Does that make sense? So it could be any other day. And if I were just having a beautiful day, but it wasn't Christmas, how would I feel? Well, I'd feel pretty awesome. So throughout my day, my Christmas alone, completely alone, I really started to become very focused on my thoughts. How am I perceiving this day? What am I saying to myself? Am I saying to myself, oh, this is so pathetic and I can't believe I'm spending Christmas alone and my mom's dead and my family has drama? Or am I gonna find my own inner peace? And the same thing goes here with COVID. With things changing, what are you saying to yourself? Are you saying, oh, things aren't the same, this is so shitty, or are you choosing a new dialogue? Are you choosing a new perspective and interpretation of what's happening? So that was the first thing. The second thing I did was create my own rituals for the day. So I slept in, I made a beautiful breakfast, I worked out, I everything was a ceremony that day for me. I went for high tea by myself. I took a high tea and I journaled and I meditated and I prayed and it was just a beautiful day. So I want you to ask yourself, whatever your holiday looks like this year, how can you create some ceremonies, some experiences, some memories, regardless of what's actually happening around us? Because COVID and isolation does not have to take away the magic in the holiday season. So whether you give gifts to the homeless or one of my friends got out a bunch of money the other day and just went around town and gave it out to people and just changed people's lives. So think about how you can still bring magic to this holiday season and how you can start to create your own ceremonies, your own rituals for that day. So, I mean, it's really beautiful whether you release the day, whether you release the year of 2020, do whatever you need to feel good. All I care about is you feeling good and you having happiness and joy and inner peace. In my life, 
I say this all the time, my goal is inner peace. And if you resonate with that, cool. If not, that's cool too. But how do you want to feel over the holidays, regardless of the changes that are happening? Because change doesn't have to be bad. It's an evolution. It's a, a lesson. I mean, if we look at it, that everything is happening for us, what is it happening for us to do and to be? to be more aware, to be more intentional, to be more connected, to be more loving. And if we look at it that way, it just brings a little bit more hope and faith and love into it instead of us wallowing in our own pity. Because if we did, I mean, it would be exhausting. And I've been there. <laughs> I've, in, I've hit my rock bottom and really just said to myself, no more. I don't wanna feel like this anymore. So you get to choose, how do you want to feel over this holiday season? And I hope that my story of voluntarily spending Christmas alone helps you kind of shift your perspective on what am I thinking? How am I interpreting what's happening right now? And how can I still bring magic? What ceremonies and rituals can I bring into the holiday season so that we can still create memories, whether it be by yourself or whether it be with others? And this isn't taking away from the fact that it is awesome to spend time with people. When we're truly in the company of others, it's so beautiful. So let's just have gratitude because we can't really change what's happening right now, but the one thing we can change is how we perceive it and our perspective of the situation. So that's all I got for you. Evening story time with Vanessa. But I am sending you so much love during this holiday season. I know it is not an easy time for people with jobs, finances, family, but I want you to know that you're going to be okay and I will support you in whatever way possible. I hope this video brings you a little bit of joy and love and so I'm sending you so much love and joy and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Love you!